Hey, what's up guys? Kane here with XBLA Fans, and I'm going to be giving you guys a quick taste of Knee Deep. Now, this game is an adventure game, point and click. It's a little bit different than the average game that you may have played, though. However, because the entire thing's going to take place as if the game was a play. So, in a sense, you're kind of the director. You're pulling the strings. You're telling people their motivations. You're telling people how to respond. Telling them, you know, the way that you want them to interact. And what it does is it creates this kind of interesting looking aesthetic art wise which you're starting to notice now as well as the fact that it gives you a little bit of control in a sense but at the same time this game's going to play out in three different acts there's act one act two act three each one is about two hours long i believe and as things go on you're going to discover this kind of swampland conspiracy you're going to observe things deduct figure out what's going on uh, while you can't actually lose this game, it's completely impossible to lose. Uh, people can die, depending on what choices you make. So the story's going to unfold until it reaches the finale. It's a play. It's going to keep going. I'm going to let the narrator talk for a minute, and then I'll jump back in with commentary. Print reporter Jack Bellin and Detective Casey Gaddis. Ladies and gentlemen, the Prologue <clears throat> Theater welcomes you to this production. Please, no videos or flash photography. Enjoy the show. Alright, so that should give you a good feel of what you're going to be experiencing here. Uh, it's a swamp noir story, which is actually one of the things that got me kind of interested in this, is someone who lives in Florida. They're going to be telling stuff about the North Florida swamps, you know? It's like, I went to school in Gainesville. It's kind of a cool thing. It's a it's an area I haven't seen really a game touch much of. But obviously, this game's going to be very dependent on voice acting, whether or not the choices feel engaging, and all that. There's over 30 fully voiced characters that you're going to meet throughout this. So I'm going to let the game just kind of take over and give you guys a chance to just kind of watch. And then at the end, I'll give you guys a little bit more commentary. Obviously, we will have a review of this game posted on uh, release day, actually. So you'll be able to check that out then. We can't really give you a heads up on that yet, though. Not much else to do while the traffic crawls. So young and soon to be so unemployed. Boing boing cartoon sound effects. Just the right touch. Could save my ass with plenty. The traffic doesn't seem to be in any hurry to break gridlock. I can't answer. I know he's mad. Not now. Lenny can go screw himself. I guess it's a 
against the law to do my job now. Well, used to be my job. Good gig. Couldn't stab a frog with it. We've got some questions. Not a lot of people left to give answers. That's on you. Just call me Lee Harvey. Why'd you get sacked? I took money from the source to publicize their product on the blog. My boss found out. Your editor must have been curious. It's done. Can't undo it. So, that's what it takes to lose a job you can do in pajamas. Let's start from the top. You were in traffic outside Jacksonville two days ago when you heard the news, right? Right now, I'm wishing I drove the other way. Hard to resist news like that, though. Tad Curran killed himself, they said. But that wasn't even the real story. I've been blogging for fan rage. Guess Kern's death is my last hurrah. Or maybe it saves my job. Or it lands me a new one somewhere else. Cheap Roadsides was lost to obscurity before I was born. Last blip on the media radar was when Dolphin's second string quarterback Dooley Quinlan got his tongue stuck in a penny presser on a bet in 1983. I got greedy. Sorry. It might come as a surprise to you, but fan rage does have some ethical standards. Won't happen again. You screwed up before, but never anything of this magnitude. Go big or go home, yeah? You're on your ninth life, Kitty. Tell me. How you plan to justify your phony baloney job now? I'm at ground zero for the death of Tad Kern. Get something online soon. Make it good. And no more mistakes. Close up of a cat with glowing red eyes. Soon. Don't support the tyranny of institutional racism. Chief Roadsides is a culturally insensitive relic. I don't know. It's cute in a Florida kitsch sort of way. Cute? Do you think it'd be cute if Silhouette turned Hungry Chiefs into a topless donut shop? I do like a tasty crawler. No, I mean topless women selling donuts. Wouldn't that offend you? Wait, is it just the women's legs serving donuts? You just don't get it. I'm here about Tad Kern, anyway. Oh, right, you're that blogger. Phaedra? I read your stuff. Sad about Kern. 
I really wanted another operation of maze balls. What's with the fancy motor coach? Those folks are with the church of us. You know, the weists. Kurt. Maybe they can tell me more. Maybe. Or maybe they'll try to brainwash you into joining their crazy cult. I'm not worried about that. Never been much of a joiner. Prismatic, at the very least. That makes as much sense as clock hands on a spoon. Are you ready for the Opto Levels test? One time offer, I'm afraid. Sure. So yeah, this has been a uh, quick taste of Knee Deep from Wales Interactive. The game will be $14.99 when it releases on Xbox One. Um, it's going to release on February 3rd, 2017. I think the game looks pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to playing the entirety of this on stream on launch day. So you'll be able to come hang out with me and we'll, we'll figure out the story that's going on in Knee Deep together. So we'll have a review posted for this as well on release day. Someone else played through the entirety of the game already, and he's already come up with his opinions on it. I'm looking forward to playing through it myself. But please do like and share this video. It really does help us a lot. Um, we'd love to keep doing these quick taste videos for you guys, keep showing off some cool games. So hope to see you guys around in the stream and as well as in the YouTube comments. So, if you do want to catch the stream, that'll be on twitch.tv slash xblafans, and you'll be able to catch us there. But I'll be uh, checking out the YouTube comments and making sure to import the VOD as soon as we can. So, thank you so much, guys, and have a great weekend.